Well, walking has always been a big part of my life as a way to get around. And because I have a disability and these crutches to walk around, I notice barriers to mobility a lot more easily than some of the people do. So I've used crutches for a long time, and I probably will always use crutches. And it does create sort of a different experience in walking because I have to be a lot more careful about things. Trip over, uh, if the surfaces are slick and it's going to cause my crutches to slip out from under me, um, I've got to really pay attention to that and walk more slowly. I also have to have a little bit more room to walk, so just like with wheelchairs, I can't, there has to be a certain amount of space. You can't like try to get into a really narrow area. So these are all things that I kind of notice with crutches more so than other people might. I actually kind of plan on my routes to try to avoid that kind of stuff, but the, the aisle for the construction site's not actually as wide as it, it would supposed to be. It's not as wide as the sidewalk, so I can get through it, but it's you know difficult and not as easy as just walking down the sidewalk would be. I think that they have a lot of policies on paper that I don't actually see implemented. Like with the construction barriers, we were just told they only put up those barriers if there's no other alternative to walking out the sidewalk and that they only do when they have to and that kind of thing. But I do have some questions about whether those construction barriers are actually a last resort or if they're just kind of a standard procedure. I think it's always important for people to, in Portland to realize that we always have room for improvement with what we have here and it might be true that we have better sidewalks than some cities but that doesn't mean that we're at the point we need to be. 